So the novel, so sorry, your CTA is wanting you to examine if you're not, if you want you to choose a novel set in a specific time period, which means the setting of the novel should take place in a historical moment in history that actually happened. So you can't choose a novel that's set in some sort of fictional history or choose a novel that's set in um, some sort of alternative history. So for example, there was a series of, well not books, I think it's a book, The Man from the High Castle that's set in a world where the Nazis win World War II and it's the world in the future or now in a, a post-Nazi victory world. You can't read a book like that. You can read a book like, uh, like Book of Negroes or, or um, The Great Gatsby or Memories of a Geisha because they're all set in a specific time period that happened in our world. Um, so you want to choose a novel like that. And the goal of the CTA is for you to determine whether or not your novel is historically accurate, right? So it composes of two parts. Part one is a written essay with 1,000 to 1,500 words, which is four to six pages typed double space. And then you will argue whether or not your novel is historically accurate. So you're going to not only just read your novel to, 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 to sort of go over and see what parts of the novel, uh, how the novel describes characters and how they behave in this specific time in history, you're also going to find two additional sources, which means two nonfiction sources that will prove how people actually behaved or what actually happened to people, individuals, organizations during that time period. The goal of those two additional sources is for you to have proof to establish whether your novel is actually historically accurate. Because the novel you're going to need to choose is a piece of fiction. It's not a biography. It's not um, something that uh, that is truthful. It is a piece of fiction, a story set in an actual time period. Okay. Uh, and then part two is you would take the strongest point from your essay and create a presentation. Now, because of the nature of the school and their quads, and because we won't have a lot of time, this presentation will be sort of a video that you will do and submit along with your, your written report. Um, to demonstrate your knowledge. It's a good way to break up your marks so that I have two sets of marks from two different ways of you doing it. And it increases your chances of getting a better mark because if let's say you did okay in the essay, you did really well in the presentation, that helps boost your mark, right? If you do really great in both of them, it helps boost your mark. So the idea of having more opportunities to demonstrate your knowledge is a very good thing. Okay, so here's a, some breakdown of the different learning goals. You can read this on your own because you can download this. But again, we're following the same oral communication, reading, writing, and media studies. So this task sheet is the wrong one that I put up, but I, there's another type of breakdown of when things are due. So uh, basically, uh, the choice of the books, which is weird, I'm going to stop this for now, and I'm going to stop the share for now and stop this recording, or pause this recording. Okay, so these dates are wrong because it's uh, the one I uploaded uh, seemed to not upload the actual date. So I've created new dates for them. So uh, ignore these for now. I'm gonna go over what the individual things are. So uh, the first stage is to choose a novel, which means you wanna choose a novel to read for your CTA. I suggest when you're choosing a novel, it should be no, it should be anywhere between 200 and 300 pages. Right? You don't want to read a novel that's too long, you won't have enough time. Uh, you need to choose a novel that's set in the time period that you have a general interest in, which means you always like that time period or you want to know more about that time period. It's easier to read a book in that time period. Here's another piece of advice. I don't need you to really finish the novel. Which means, if let's say Tristan decided to read The Great Gatsby, and he read 75% of the novel, and in his 75%, he identified three different events that happened to the novel, that he would say, hey, I think it's historically accurate because this happens in the novel that really happened in history, this other point happens in the novel that really happened in history, and there's another point that's happened in history. That's a perfectly good way to do your essay, and it's a perfectly good way to prepare notes for it. So 
if you're worried about whether or not you can finish a novel within a certain amount of days, plus what we're doing right now, that's not the point. You don't need to necessarily finish your novel. You need to be able to identify three points in the novel that the characters do something that you could, you, that you could use to establish whether or not it's historically accurate. Most novels that are set in a time period tend to stick with that time period, tend to stick with historical accuracy. These are not like Quentin Tarantino movies where he decides to, in two of his movies, which is The Inglorious Bastards and in um, so the Time in Hollywood, he just basically changes history. He goes along telling you a lot about history and then all of a sudden, at the end of his movies, something happens that didn't happen in history, both in What Happens to Hitler in Inglorious Bastards and What Happens to Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Those did not happen in his movies. He changes them and that's, so up to a point, Tarantino in his films tries to be historically accurate, but then all of a sudden he just twists and changes things to suit his storytelling. Most of the novels you will choose won't do that. If they're historically accurate to, um, most of the times, so you can argue that they're probably going to be, they will, continue, they will continue to be historically accurate or they will continue to be inaccurate, right? They don't really switch patterns all of a sudden. They don't come with a, a twist of an, an ending that doesn't um, agree with what happened in history. So don't worry about finishing the book. I think you, you need to look at when you're reading it, recording the information that's needed to prove historical accuracy. So uh, the next stages three, four, and five, I am going to uh, meet with you. Now for journal entries, in the past when I've had people for grade 10, I made them write out journal entries that sort of tell me what happened, uh, what's the quote that proves that what happened, what's the theme, what, what's the relevance. Uh, you don't have to do this as a written piece of work. It can be done where you are just basically meeting with me and telling me, so I've read this much and I've got this information. I would suggest you create a set of notes because that'll be easy to go back to when you have to, when we're focusing on writing your CPA. So if you don't record parts or write down parts of the novel that you think deal with history, right? Then you won't be able to create a essay based upon three points that would establish whether or not your novel is historically accurate. All right, so there's a point where you have to meet with me and I'm going to check with you to make sure that you're, that you're keeping up your readings and I can answer any questions. Uh, then the next time we check, which is close to the end of October, uh, I check to see if you've done, started to create your outline. And before that, I'll talk about how to create an outline, how to structure your essay for this CTA. I check your outlines, then you work on your rough drafts. I kind of go over your rough drafts a bit, then I send them back and you submit the uh, final draft of your essay, plus a presentation on one aspect of your CTA. And again, I'll go into this in more detail later. I just want to do this as a general introduction. This page just has sort of a structure of how, if you want to write down journal entries as notes, this is how you would do it. Again, you do jot notes to remind yourself. Uh, you would do what the historic connection is happening to the characters, and then you would look at the page that exists on, right? Are any ideas, themes, messages that respond to it? The idea is, guys, that if, if let's say Regina's reading a book and she identifies five points in history that she thinks is accurate in her novel, out of the five, she uses three, then she uses her additional sources to prove whether or not they are accurate, and if they are, she's got all the material she needs for the essay. So that is the goal of the CTA. This sort of breaks down the marking sheet for both components of it, but again, don't necessarily need to look at that. What you do need to do for Monday is to choose a CTA novel, which means choose a novel sitting inside the time period. Now, if you're confused about that, I don't know. Uh, you can reach out to me and give you some suggestions. But basically, uh, you're looking for a, a, a story that's set in a time period where there's lots of information about that. So if you chose a book about a, someone living, going through um, a people, uh, soldiers in the Vietnam War, there's tons of information. Uh, books about people who uh, uh, were slaves in America or in Canada, tons of books, tons of information. If you're talking about, um, hell, if you're talking about the war, uh, uh, the impact of the Japanese invasion to China uh, during World War II, again, tons of information. Uh, the Afghanistan war, or when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan, the rise of the Taliban, uh, 
there's tons and tons and tons of information about those subjects, about those care, those things, and there are books that deal with those things. The Kite Runner is a good book. Uh, so there's lots of books to do so. I would choose one of a time period that you like, that it's not excessively long. I, I, I tell kids really to read The Great Gatsby because The Great Gatsby is about 200 pages. And while the language can be poetic, it's not that hard of a read. And there are tons and tons of resources on what happens in each chapter, tons and tons of the support. The Robert Redford film does an excellent job in recounting the story. So even if you read the book and you're still confused, if you watch the movie, the Robert Redford version of the movie, it's great. Do not watch the one with Paul Rudd and do not watch the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Those are bad interpretations of, of Greg Gatsby. All those ones are designed to, um, those, ones, those ones don't really follow the story. The Robert Redford one, if you're doing Greg Gatsby, is a really good example of what happens in the book. So once you choose those things, you start doing your journal entries. You read a little bit a day, you keep track of what's going on, you make notes about whether or not it, the, the characters do something that would be, uh, and you check if it's historically accurate, and then you sort of gather your information there. Your two additional sources should be nonfiction, could be textbooks, could be interviews, with scholars talking about the time period, it could be uh, articles on the time period, it could be other books that talk about the time period, but you want to find people who can tell you what actually happened and then look if your novel does a good job of conveying that. Okay, are there any questions about what I've just talked about for the past 18 minutes? Right, so on Monday, what I won't be here, what I will ask everyone to do is please tell me the novel you're choosing for your CTA. Again, please choose something not too long and a book that you're interested in. The Great Gatsby is good in both eras. I would not read anything. I would not read any novels in the Victorian time period like Jane Eyre and, and Sense and Sensibility. They're good in trying to describe what happened during that time period, but they are long and it's too much for you to read. Choose a novel of medium length. Make sure it's fictional but the time or the area it's been set in is real, okay? So the Kite Run is a good example. It's set in uh, Afghanistan uh, after the rise of the Taliban and the, and the invasion, it deals with the invasion of the Soviet Union into Afghanistan, their ouster, and then the rise of the Taliban. That's a good example of one, okay? Any questions about your CTA? Anyone, please, please ask me now. Uh, so while it, uh, would, so on Monday it's going to be Zoom like one by one asking about the uh, novel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just say, hey, what you, what are you writing? What are you choosing? And then I'll say, I'll write it down. So you need to tell me at least the novel you're choosing. So this weekend, as you're working on your WFA number one, you should think about mm -hmm. what novels do I want to choose for my CTA. I know it's a lot, but we kind of I want you to get you started now because I don't want to pile it on you later so all right understand all right thank okay. you no problem and guys if you choose even a novel that you've read before that's also not a bad idea i'm not saying you should but i am saying that i won't know what novel you've read before so therefore i can't tell and if you've written all before it's an easier read to remember and talk about those issues so if you've read great gets before or some other situation of the course or something, and you want to use it for your CTA for this course, that's fine. Okay, it's a because what you're doing is you're sort of rereading it and sort of looking at it in a more expedited fashion to get information from that. So don't be afraid to use books that you know are set in the time period that you know you could talk about uh, that you've read before. And if you're curious whether or not your novel fits the time period. On Monday, you can ask me and I can tell you whether or not the novel is good or it's something you have to check again. Okay? Any other questions? Um, Sorry, Hannah, can you say that again? You were cutting out for a bit. Um, could you check the chat? Check the chat? Yeah. Give me a second. I'm just going to stop the, the recording.